Risk management techniques when building a property portfolio. It's important to manage your risk from a cash flow perspective. So I think that that's probably the most important when you're building a property portfolio and you're managing the risk is knowing that when you buy the property, do you have a cash buffer aside so that you can cash flow that property portfolio through bad times? At the end of the day, you might lose your job, you might have ill health or something go wrong. So you wanna know that you can cash flow the portfolio and mitigate that risk before you even buy the property. Another thing is making sure that you do a cash flow breakdown of the property before you buy it. Every property before a client buys a property through us, we make sure we do a cash flow breakdown so that they understand what the costs of getting into that property, the costs of managing that property are, and then they can allow for their cash buffer to be able to say, okay, we need to have six months buffer or 12 months buffer for each property so that they have mitigated their risk while they're building a large portfolio. I think the third thing when it comes to mitigating the risk is making sure you have a property manager. People try to manage the properties themselves and what happens is they end up getting trashed or something goes wrong because they don't understand the legislation and instead they could have just paid a few extra dollars each week and had a professional manage that property for them. I think that these three uh, are very common uh, but to manage the risk, it's something that you need to do. So managing the risk from a, a cash flow perspective, making sure you, when you buy the property, you know what the breakdown of that property looks like, and then making sure that you have a professional manage the property for you. This is what I think you have to do in terms of managing the risk of a large por property portfolio.